Okay, let's see what we're up to. So here's the four legs. The two long ones are obviously the back and the two short ones are the front. So I've welded on those little square 10 mil plates for the feet, the adjusting feet. And just knocked off the welds just a little bit. And we've also prepped up the two top rails. So these rails here and I've notched out the rails to suit these mounting plates. So one of these is 20 millimeters deep and the 16, that's only because that's the stock I had. There's some 16 and some 20. So I'll put the 20, the heavier one, under the headstock where all the weight is and the 16 down this end where the tailstock will be. So now I've got to, normally I'd be welding this on my bench where the lathe's sitting but I can't move the lathe because I haven't got a stand and that's my flat working surface so I'm going to have to weld it on the floor in here which isn't perfect but we'll have to do. So first thing I've done is I've just uh, lined up all the ends and I've made a mark with a scribe uh, where the top of these rails will meet this back leg. Now a lot of guys just use a sharpie but a sharpie is about an eighth of an inch thick or the line is maybe sixteenth I prefer a, a very sharp line like this so I use the sharpie to colour in the steel and then I scribe it just with a cheap scribe so I've got a very sharp line so those blue rails will be mounted on here and up so I've got to work out an order of welding this so that I don't twist it and it comes out somewhat square again it's not launching a space shuttle but I do want it relatively square now luckily I've built in adjustment on the feet so if there's a bit of misalignment on the feet it shouldn't be a showstopper and if I've cut all of these pieces precisely to length then when I put them all together it should be square so I've just got to be a bit careful with that Another thing I've done is just run some test beads with my MIG and just dialed in the MIG with the settings to suit this tube and the wall thickness. So let's get some welds down. Okay, so I've been deliberating how to get this thing together square. This floor really is pretty bad. There's a gap down there and a gap down there. So this floor's got a crown in it. So I can't lay it all flat on the floor. So this might not work, but this is the way I'm going to do it. So I've just got three magnet clamps on here. I've got this lined up with the scribed line. And I'm going to put the first, I'm just going to put a tack weld in here. And that'll at least hold it. Now when it shrinks, it'll pull the top of this in. So it'll go that way. So we'll have to straighten it back up when we weld on the, the front or the short leg. But I'm going to get this one on first and we'll go from there okay so i've just built both these long legs tack weld on the bottom and i've just done one on either side where this rail joins here probably have to just smooth this one flat so i can get that rail in hard up against this face here but that's just to hold it for now so now i've just got to set some supports down here and I built these together because I've got to build a left and a right. So this is the only, this is I think 40 square and I'm using 50 square for the legs. So I'm going to build a left and a right and I just want to make sure I didn't build two lefts or vice versa. So I'm just going to build them together. Now I've got to set this distance in here and that's based on, on the height of the cabinet. And I've said here it's going to be minimum 735 millimeters. So minimum's always good. Obviously this angle's about five mil thick. So I need 740. So I'm going to aim for a sort of 760 or so. It's not critical. And all it means is there'll be a smaller gap under this rail um, to the floor. So not great because if it's too small, I can't sweep under it. So it'll just get, you know, full of junk. But you know, that's what it is. So. Let's uh, let's get these guys on. All right, so I'm trying to now weld on the short front leg to that rear section I've already 
fabricated or tacked together. So what I think I'm going to do, I'll just use a piece of scrap steel. That'll bridge any uneven sections of the floor. So it doesn't matter if it's tilting a bit, but I can build off that surface. So I've just used a couple of mag clamps just to hold it roughly in place. And this guy here, we've got to tack this one on. So I've got a mag clamp underneath make sure this is flush and I've got one on the back just to make sure that's flush on that surface as well so I can drop a tack uh, I don't really want to drop tack on here because it'll twist I think it'll start twisting so I really want one underneath um, I could put one here but I've got an edge here on both this piece and this piece I've got an uh, open edge so they won't take much to melt so I'm going to, have to be really quick with a real quick blast and just see if I can tap those together, stop them moving and I can put one on either side and once I've got them locked together I can take this mag clamp off and put one underneath. Now this guy here, he's okay, he's just got to be butted up hard there, make sure it's flush with this outer face the same as this one here and I'll use a mag clamp to adjust that guy and then I can put a couple of tacks on him and that'll be that one and hopefully it'll end up pretty square.